Hey guys, this is a walk around the all new 2019 Suzuki Swift GL safety pack. I'm sorry for the background noise, the reason being this is still just right next to the main road and it's also quite windy today, so I do apologize. Anyhow, towards the front, you got halogen headlights, as you can see. You can see the front fascia here, Have, it's completely redesigned. See this little box here that's actually for the adaptive cruise control. So what adaptive cruise control is, is what it does is with regular cruise control, when you slow down at a certain speed, if let's say a car jumps in front, you will have to manually slow it down, you have to reset it. But with adaptive cruise control, it actually keeps a safe distance. So if the front car slows down, you can adjust the speeds accordingly, so which is really great. So you have to always keep resetting it. It's quite a nice detail. It's also kind of has a interesting design how it swoops in a little bit. That's cool. Fog lights. Nice. This car has a fuel consumption of 4.8 litres per 100 k's. It also has a 1.2 litre four cylinder engine, which is the same engine that you have get on the Ignis. Pretty cool. Urban 5.8, extra urban 4.2. Being a safety pack version, you also have the extra features um, late departure warning, I believe, EDB, so emergency braking. So if someone jumps out at a certain like, when you're cruising around, the car will automatically detect and start braking, which is really great for those little panicky sort of situations. So when you go above one trim level up, you have the GLX. So sole differences, obviously you have LED headlights in comparison to halogen. So it has a little differences in case you're wondering. Also a good thing they're the same colour so you can kind of see the differences. Anyway. Oh yeah, and the wheels are also different. So you can see you get these wheels opposed to these ones here. So Bridgestone tyres. They are Bridgestone Acopia EP150 tyres. And they are 18 inch wheels. Quite interesting how you have the handle here also hidden as well. It's all flush. Show you the rear. Button. LED daytime road lights over here. They're hard to see. It's also a nice detail. Suzuki. Five year cap price and factory warranty. Third braking light. Rear backup camera, also quite handy. Oh, manual tailgates. So, pretty good room. Illumination here. So, we've got a space saver spare tire. With your toolkits. Seats do fold down. Now the Swift also is made in Japan in case you're wondering. A lot of people are saying it's made in India or it's an Indian car. It's a Japanese car built in Japan. If you do live in India, they're built, there's a branch called Maruti Suzuki which makes an Indian version of this car. Which isn't as, so obviously the quality will look a bit different, feel a bit different and the um, um, the features will be different as well, so these are built in Japan, so that ho hopefully that clears up the confusion. So it's relatively flat, as you can see. You do have a bit of a ridge here, which I guess can cause a bit of problems at times, but it's not that bad. But they fall down, which is actually the main thing, so which is good. And it's actually mon pretty moderately sized as well. This is the manager, he has his, for his dog, so he has to walk it here and there because it has a tendency to whine, which is pretty cute. Only five months old, so sorry about that. All carpeted. 
hooks here for the tether points in case you want to mount your baby booster how I did that you can see the button here and that's how I was able to put the seats down see I'm repeating the same thing there little handle here points show you Handles all there. So I do that. Here's the interior of the new Suzuki Swift. Looks very nice. Towards the front, you got these really nice gauges. Oh, sorry, the lighting in the way. So you got your spear towards the left, temperature gauge for the engine, and you've got your, sorry, your rev counter is left with the temperature for the engine, and you've got your speeder to the right with the fuel gauge, and a little LCD display cluster that shows all your information, which is not doing that right now. I'll just do that. Maybe that will make it easier. Very nice set of gauges. So here's your additional features that I'll show you with the safety pack. Uh, the the lane departure, so you've got that, which is cool, so you're keeping the lane if you swerve out. You also have the feature where you can detect at low speeds and accidents, for example if someone jumps in front like a child drops their ball, or you don't pay attention and you're getting too close, or the car will automatically start braking. And these are some additional features which are, I believe, available on the Gillex. So, you can see hard plastic dash, but they're very solid, like it's not it's not like a really cheap feeling material. That looks the soft, but you can see it's all hard. Leather wrap steering wheel. It's also got a flat bottom steering wheel too. It's also a nice little touch as well, with some nice black stitch. I might just put this in, this helps. There you go. It's kind of getting the way the lens. So you can see it's um, got this really nice black stitching. All the way around. Can't really show you. The controls. Volume controls. Hands free telephone. Cruise control settings. And you can adjust your speed, as I was telling you, like the distance to from the car in front. Which is really cool while you're using the cruise control. Wipe controls to the left and your headlight indicator controls to the right. On which you can see the buttons feel very good. And you've got this little nice chrome as well. Very solid. Apple CarPlay Android Auto as well. But I don't have the keys for legal reasons, unfortunately. So you got your UI there. Got navigation as well. Standard air conditioning. Various different zones. Fan speeds. AC. Cold, hot, feels very solid. Recycling, fresh air. Very good. You go for the Gillette version, you get climb control, in case you want to know the difference. You've got a 12 volt slash 120 watt power outlet. You have your speed aux, really good for playing your tunes. You have cup holders here. I have a small bottle, not my other one because I forgot to bring it. It's about 600 milliliters. You can see it fits here relatively fine. And you've got a little bit larger ones on the side here, which actually is quite handy. Uh, one speed CBT, same thing that you get, same transmission you get on the Ignis. With the, which is a vinyl shift boot with black stitching. Got a bit of gloss black trim. 
rubber handbrake with some storage here put your smartphone or keys or small things got really nice um comfortable seats i really like the seats in particular they're very really well bolstered you can see it's also ventilate ventilated as well which is really good and you got this really nice patch in here which is i see really nice detail good padding soft and squishy squishy sunlight you can see bend the mirror put one there microphone lights uh, the door cards and the obviously I did mention this is all hard plastics hard plastics here too you do have a bit of a cloth here, from here, switches all, also. Very solid building. But um, for plastics, they're very solid. They don't feel cheap, they don't feel poorly made or flimsy. You can kind of hear the sounds too. sound system I have tested myself and I'll say that it's amazing it sounds very clear very crisp so if you do love to play your tunes you won't be disappointed show you the rear seats So, got some good knee room here. You've got a single cup holder here. Again, good for one small drink, 600ml bottle. You don't have a center armrest over here, but um, I don't really use them, so. You've got um, not too bad window, it's actually pretty good. So, you've got lots of. The visibility is actually quite good, so side. I feel it could be a bit more taller, but I guess it's designed the car, but very good visibility. Um, no real blind spots. I mean, yeah, you've got a little bit of a blind spot here, which I can see that can sort of cause a bit of issues, but yeah, but I guess pretty much these days, because of the designs of cars lately, you're, you're going to have blind spots, so I guess it is what it is. You do have some isofix points here, which is also good for small children if you want to put a baby booster on both ends. You get the same seating style at the front with this really cool pattern, which is, oh, I just realised the centre is also ventilated too. So it's also ventilated here with this cool star sword pattern. It's a very, very soft cloth. I actually like cloth seats because they're more durable. You don't have to condition them or do anything, so it's actually pretty good. You have a bit of a large transmission tunnel, but you can keep your feet here, which is good, on the sides, and doesn't obstruct the other two passengers. I'll just close this up for a minute. And I'll show you the dashboard from the rear seat. Sorry, it's actually starting the sun's starting to set, that's why. It doesn't look very clear. For value for money, you're getting a lot for this car, so it's pretty good. And made in Japan, if the one's in Australia, it's good. Did mention the seats do fold down. There's a little button there, press down. You can't see yourself, it comes down almost flat. Easy access to your boot. Doesn't lock in, like some of them lock down, you have to play around, but when you lock, it locks, goes down, goes down. And what's really smart is they've actually got a little bit of a um, hook here, which actually keeps the seat belt in one place. Sometimes you pull it down, it gets stuck. You have to fiddle around with it, which is kind of irritating. Door cards you can house one small bottle, and that's about it. You probably could squeeze a, squeeze a bit of a bigger bottle. Same treatment, hard plastics, but again, feels pretty solid for hard plastics. It's a smaller car, so you're gonna get a bit more flex and things like that. But it's like uh, very solid feeling, so couldn't really complain. See? Very good. Oh, 
show you the little toggle here. Show a good opportunity to show you the engine. The engine is the same engine on the. Uh, I think I already mentioned this on the. Not the Ignis. If you go for the top spec one, the GLX Turbo, you get the three cylinder booster jet engine. Here you've got, I believe it's called the dual jet motor. Oh, come on. There you go. It's a dual jet engine. Dual jet engine, so you can see. So four cylinder engine, three cylinder engine turbo. Small engine, one point two liter, so very small. Battery. A sticker that shows you it's made in Japan. I've done my research so I know this model is built in Japan. See half the stuff is written Japanese, so that's a clear indication. It takes 91 octane. Medical operation Japan. It's blocking that up. That should be proof. But I know they're built in Japan, so which is good. 91 octane. Cost $46. Whole, whole tech. Australian dollars, mind you. So obviously in America will be half of that because you guys are lucky. Cool stuff. I know I've already done this video a long time ago, but I thought I'd redo it with my newer camera. Um, well, that's my little walk around of the all new Suzuki Swift GL safety pack. Sorry for my sex during the video. Um, I've been really busy off late and things like that, so I do apologize. Um, this car is for sale at Pentrol Tazuki. Leave details in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video and um, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.